How's your hair? Red! It's red, yeah! I'm just glad that I was able to find it because I think he'll be really, really excited. I'm gonna show it to him today. This would be great if you put like Logan in some knee pads and like a helmet. <laughs> and put Barley outside. <laughs> and just be like, go! <laughs> no. Go! Say hi, baby! Can you say hi? Say hi, baby! Say hi, baby! No? 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 I'm trying to show her how to shake her head now. No? No? Yes? Yes? Show him your hair, Logan. What color's your hair? Red! It's red, yeah! Logan has, um, sorry, my hair's like in my face. I just got out of the shower because I did a workout. Logan has spirit day today at school, so the only thing I thought that he might let me do was spray color his hair. And thank goodness I had some red spray left. Um, I don't even remember why I have it, but um, I have it and it shows up in his hair, so uh, yes, I know. Mama needs to comb her hair when I get somewhat ready. Yeah, I'm just getting together uh, Logan's lunch um, so that he can eat real quick, and then right before he gets on the bus, I'm gonna spray his hair one more time just to make it like more red. Um, but he's excited that it's red. Like, I did not think he was gonna let me. He just stood there and let me spray it. Again, just the kids growing up and being able to just tolerate more is just amazing and this little one always wants to come grab like the trash bag that hangs over right there why do you like getting that mama you're such a silly girl you know that you like the trash can huh yeah all right Logan your bus is here buddy you ready with your cool hair look at that <gasps> let's go come on so I was in the middle of getting ready when Melina was kind of like, hey, I need to eat, like I'm hungry. So um, we're sitting down having lunch, huh, mama? And I wasn't gonna vlog this, but, cause I feel like I always vlog like her eating, which is not really that exciting. But to me, it's, you know, it's, I love seeing it. So um, that's why I do it. Um, but <laughs> look at her, she's so cute. Melina, has your, oh wow, girl. Is Basil helping you or is he just cleaning up the mess? Yeah, don't feed him. Just let him pick up anything that falls on the floor, okay? She's eating uh, avocado, a little bit of cheese, um, and some ground chicken. I keep thinking it's turkey, but it's chicken, huh, mama? Do you need more? I think she's trying to tell me something here, huh? Yeah, we need more, huh, mamas? Okay, I'll get you a little bit more. I was gonna give her beans, too, like pinto beans, because Robbie usually makes them every week, and we have them, but they're a little spicy, huh? They're a little spicy, yeah. And she's already been eating a lot of fruit all week, so I don't want her poor little butt to be burning. <laughs> so um, we held back on the on the beans, huh, mamas? But this is delicious. <gasps> is it yummy? Yeah. Uh oh, look at you, tough girl. You got muscles. Melina, look, itsy bitsy's on. What a coincidence. I was just gonna show you guys this. So if you guys have been watching our vlogs from early on, you guys, we've been vlogging for like. I wanna say almost three years. I said three years. A long time, I feel like. Um, so we're still a little channel, but we definitely have shared quite a bit. But anyways, this Itsy Bitsy Spider, which it has a different cover though. This is one of Gavin and Logan's all-time favorite bedtime story, story in general, nursery rhyme. A few months ago, maybe a year ago, it was to the point where like the pages were just not holding together. Gavin really just, just really wore it out, pretty much. And ABA just started this week, so um, one of his goals is like the fill-in, which he's had that before, that goal, and we just wanna master that one. Alina, you okay? And so we were gonna do uh, Itsy Bitsy Spider, and I thought, you know what? I need to find him another book because that'd be perfect. He can practice it, he knows the story. It's just getting him to, to sound out, and we're not looking for just any attempt on his fill-in word. It's actually like he has to say it clearly like we need to hear spout not spa which is what he does so i found it on amazon you guys it was like seven bucks um it has a different cover though only because the cover that we had which was a black cover was like a halloween version and it was just the color of the cover the story inside it's all the same it's just that the cover was black with like orange for like a halloween thing and the book that they originally had came from grandma Teresa. like she found it probably at a yard sale like she finds a lot of good stuff at yard sales in Missouri, um, and I'm just glad that I was able to find it because I think he'll be really, really excited. I'm gonna show it to him today, and they're gonna use it probably today too for his uh, goal, but um, yeah, I'm excited. And you guys, this is such a cute book. It's Itsy Bitsy Spider by uh, Kate Toms. Of course, it's not gonna 
get clearer for you guys but yeah it's by kate toms um it's so cute it's just kind of like a different version of itsy bitsy but it's still pretty much like the same like itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout down came the rain washed the spider out that whole thing is the same but there's more to the story and it's so cute so i'm excited for him to come see this when he gets home and we also got um hocus pocus because it was four bucks on amazon and i'm tired of having to pay for it to watch it like during halloween so this way we have our own copy okay and since i have the volume turned down on the TV because you just can't because the background music can't be listened to like you guys know that copywriting Which I don't know if it's something that comes from YouTube if that's okay But anyways, I just don't want to get in trouble Yeah, so I was able to get ready today and it's been a long time since I got ready and felt Good about how I got ready. Um, I don't like to get ready. I feel like I don't have time to get ready So it was nice today. Just I don't know. I just felt more relaxed and I wasn't so I don't know. I've been really tired lately and I think that now that I'm doing my workouts again, like I, I, I know working out gives you energy and it's just, it's true. Like I, I have energy today and so I was like, you know what, Melina's being good. Logan just went to school. I'm going to try to just get a little bit ready and I just kind of went with it. I mean, I even like, I tried. I'm not going to say that I did it because I don't think it came out right, but I try to do like the contouring thing, um, which I feel like it looks a little orange to me. I don't know, but I can see where they're going with it. So I just need to practice that a little bit more and my battery is about to die. Um, but real quick, I wanna show you guys. So I'm indecisive on what to do about my hair. My hair, the red is finally fading out like almost 100%. I'd say maybe there's just a tiny tint of red, but my grays are also <laughs> starting to show a lot more. So I don't know whether just to say darker, like just keep dyeing my hair darker, like keeping it not darker, but just staying brunette, like my natural hair color, because I do like to stay cl as close to my natural hair color. I don't like dyeing the bulk of my hair only like where I have gray, but I feel like gray is starting to show up just everywhere. You guys can probably not even see it, but it's there believe me but then they say that going lighter actually helps blend that in but i don't like bleaching my hair a lot and i don't have the money to keep maintenance lightening my hair so i don't know what to do right now i am so confused conflicted all of the above because let me see if you guys can get a glimpse of my can you see any they're all there and it's throughout everywhere like oh yeah it's starting to really show through and i did not want to i didn't want to be that person that needs to hide it or felt that, you know, I can't show my grades because I'm not embarrassed by them at all. I'm 37 and I want to look my age, but I also feel that it's just not, it's not a good color. Like it's just not a good blend right now with what I have going on. So I just don't know what to do. And it's, ah, it's one of those things that it's like, it, it bothers me a lot, but I just don't do anything about it until it like really starts to bother me. And I, it makes me upset and I just, I don't want it to get to that point. So. I need to figure this out because it's just not, it's not making me happy right now. And I, I want to be happy. I like being happy. <laughs> Melina, that's mommy's mascara. <gasps> She's like, well, it's my teether today, mom. <laughs> you ready for nap? <gasps> you want to go take a nap? Maybe. <laughs> you want to go take a nap? What are you doing? Do you want to go take a nap? <gasps> Mama. Happy. No, stand up. Show me how you walk. Come on. Come on. Come on, no, 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 don't be scared. Come on, mamas. No, don't get scared. Come on, stand up. Oh, Melina. What do you think, Evan? Mm -hmm. I just gave him the book, mm -hmm. the Itsy Bitsy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he likes it. Gavin, do you like it? Mm -hmm. Is that Itsy Bitsy? He's checking it out like he's like, yeah, this is the book, but there's a little something different. But everything else inside is exactly the same. I think a little bit of the colors might be off, but because the other book was a Halloween theme, it had like Halloween themed socks and stuff, but I think everything else is the same. Right, Gav? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's all the same. Logan just got home and he does not have red hair anymore. I thought maybe they uh, washed it out, like maybe he wasn't allowed to, but I think it just flaked off because his scalp is still red. Logan, did you have a good day at school? Did you have a good day at school? I think you did because you're smiling. All right, the boys are home and Logan is still looking for food. Are you still hungry, buddy? You want milkies, huh? You want milkies? Okay. Gavin is doing ABA now and Melina just woke up from her nap so this is like the part of the day that it gets so crazy busy and I probably won't vlog so I'll catch you guys in about three hours. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. You started going real quick. Hi mamas. <laughs> 
Alright, back the other way. <laughs> Pull her this way. Hi, oh, she's gonna wave. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Barley, there's a baby in that. Barley, back it up. He's like, I'm sorry, guys. This would be great if you put like Logan and some knee pads and like a helmet. Nah. Barley outside. <laughs> and just be like, go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Loves it. Yeah. She's smiling. <laughs> yeah, baby. Gavin, are you all done with uh, Miss Kaylee? Yeah? That's his ABA provider. Her name's Kaylee. Gavin, be nice to Barley. Say, Barley, go away. Tell him, go away. Barley, go lay down. Tell him, go lay down. Hey, be nice. Gavin. Gavin. Be nice. All right, so we're all done with ABA and dinner and everything went smoothly. I'm gonna get the boys ready for their baths right now and pretty much this is gonna be the end of our day. I did wanna mention real quick though that um, Melina's uh, report, Gav, hey Gav, come here, Gavin, come here, hey, Gavin. Come here, look, come here, sit down. Come here, come here, look, sit down. Sit down, sit down, look, come here, sit down, come here, look, say, can you say hi? Look at, look, look. Look. Hi. <laughs> I did receive Melina's like official like um, scores and results from like her autism assessments. Um, and uh, there was like three parts I think is what she said. Um, but I can read just a couple of them for you guys. Um, pretty much overall, she's an average baby. Like there's, you know, she's pretty much on track just like any other nine month old, which is nine month old, she's almost 10 months. Um, so she's developing right where she should be. Hopefully you guys can hear me with Gavin kind of hooting around in the background. Um, it says, based on our conversation at the information and the information gathered at Melina's monitoring appointment, um, the clinical recommendation at this point is to continue with monitoring and parent education. So basically we don't have to do any of that early intervention or do any of the classes that kind of go through like, oh, maybe work on this because she seems a little delayed. And Melina had an average composite score on the Mullen. Uh, her, receptive, her receptive and expressive language scores were also average. The ITC checklist generated no concern for the composite sections and the total score. Some of the scores were like she came in at a 11 month baby. Some of them were that she came in at a which was like an eight month baby. The eight month was because she didn't express, she didn't have any expressive language, but she did hear a little bit and because I told her about it, she, I guess that's why they gave her an eight month and not like a nine month, but that's still average. Like that's not even anything to worry about. Um, the one that I remember she said that she came in at 11 month was um, gross motor, gross motor and fine motor because like how she's uh, using her pincer grasp and picking up objects and moving stuff and herself just moving around. So yeah, and like I said, her next appointment will be in April um, and we already have the appointment ready and, and set up so we don't have to go through like setting up more appointments and hoping that we get in. Um, they're pretty much already set. But anyways guys, I'm gonna get the boys ready for baths like I said and just pretty much Oh, get ready for bed because now, now I feel tired. Like, now I feel tired, not at like two o'clock. So, because when I get tired at like two o'clock, then by now, like, I am like super dying. Gavin, did you just grab a tomato? Gavin, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You are so silly. Is that a tomato? Hey, what is this? What is it? What is that? Gavin, what is this? Tomato? Tame. Tame. To. Tame. To. Tame. To. Tame. To. But yeah, I can hear Melina crying for me. Logan's in the potty, like I said. He loves going to the potty. I need to clean up and get everybody ready for bed. So anyways, thanks for watching today's video. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys at the next one. Ciao.